Hey, hey, it's Aram here. In this tech tutorial of System.io, I'm going to show you how to set up a mini course. And the goal of this particular mini course is going to be more so for lead generation purposes. So you can actually give a mini course and sell it as well. And typically, if you were to do that and you would sell a small course, then you would use one of the course features and that will basically give you a private gated members area where somebody has to enter their name and password to be able to log in and that is one way of doing it and that's particularly applicable if you're actually selling a course now let's say you're using a course to educate somebody on what it is that you do how you do it different things along these lines and then you would upsell them at some point throughout that course then you would use something that is more similar to what you would have seen in a product launch formula where you have maybe a three part video series where you educate, inspire, answer questions and sell type things. So three to four videos and that's the process. And this is kind of the format of the mini course that I'm going to show you how to set up in system IO. So in this case, you want to have as little friction as possible for somebody to actually consume your course, which means you don't want to send them a way to have to log in with their name and password. It means that the course content is not going to be protected with their password. And that means that they will literally be entering the name and email and they will be taken straight to the mini course. And it's going to be right there available for them in a video series. I'm going to show you an example of something that I have like that set up already. And I set that up as a template for myself so that other people could also make use of this template in my membership. And also this is something that is available as a product in aramplr.com where you can actually get this exact mini course and use it for your own business because that mini course is designed to help you get more affiliate sales for you as a system IO affiliate, which gives you 60% commission, which is very generous. So this mini course funnel that I've set up is a quick win onboarding that I set up for my own referrals. And that has done well where I have people go through the course, they have a win, and then they upgrade to the paid plan of system and I get an affiliate commission. So let me show you how that all is set up on the back end. So the first thing is you notice that there is basically it's a two page funnel. You're going to create a funnel by going to the funnels list. And while you're here, you're going to click on create, then you're going to give it a name. In my case, I personally like to just go with custom, which means start from blank. You can start with build an audience. If you were to go with custom, what you're going to do then is you're going to need to add pages. Now, I don't want to create a brand new funnel, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the steps that I did to create these. So you'll notice that this is a squeeze page. So you're going to click on create step and then you're going to um, give this a name, landing page name. You're going to click here and choose the squeeze page and that will be the first one. When you do that, you'll have the different templates and stuff like that. You can just pick the one that you want and that will be that that you'll customize it. I've got a different tutorial on landing pages. If you want to get my landing page for this specific thing, I will leave a link for my mini course as well. So you can actually see what that looks like. And also I'll leave you a link with the around PLR so you can explore that option too. Then once you do that, you also want to create a thank you page. So in my case, I use the opt-in thank you. That's the, one, the correct one to use in this case. And then you're going to scroll down and pick this one. Now, let's just say you want to have an order form on the same page where people can actually buy something. You would actually use the order form one, which is also an option. I don't have it in my case, but it is also an option. So I'm going to pick this one and then you're going to call this mini course. And then you'll have the different options right here. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what mine looks like. So you get an idea of how it looks like. Uh, this is the landing page where people can actually sign up to get the mini course basically. And this is a get your instant landing page done or get your landing page done in 30 minutes or less type thing. Once they enter name and email, it goes to the mini course page, which is this one. Now, the way I have it set up is I have here a headline, uh, like a little announcement banner of who it's for, a little headline with a, a clear CTA on like the value, why they should be here. I have the images for the lessons as well. I have a menu with a sub menu, which is a really cool little feature that System.io has as well, which shows you the steps as well. And it kind of hovers over the top of this. And then this is just an image basically. Um, again, if you go through a run PLR, you will get a template for this Canva. You will get a tutorial for this. You will get it. All that is included. Now let's just say they click and they're like, yep, I want to do step four. Great. They click on it. And then you'll notice that depending on which step they're on, they, that doesn't matter if they click up or down. It just scrolls them 
to the exact right step. And this is a content box. This is what this is. Title for the context box, text, button, text, video, text. In this case, it's headline for the content box, text, checklist, text, video, text, three buttons, a row with three buttons. Okay, so I've got all of that set up and it's pretty kind of straightforward on how I have it. Again, text, checklist, text, image, text, video. These are all the elements that I actually use to create this basically. And I use a content box for every one of these. So each step, each lesson is set up that way basically. At the bottom, I also have an FAQ thing. Again, it's inside a content box to answer additional questions and things along these lines. You can see I've got different upsells here. What is my membership? Things along that. And then also I do have a bonus page right here where people can click here. And I make it obvious because this is my main upsell, which is for people to use my affiliate link for system.io basically. So that's how you've got a mini course set up. Now I wanna show you uh, also, if you were to look at the actual editor of the mini course, you will notice that everything I've told you is exactly how this is. So first of all, this menu, I actually have this on the desktop only. And then I have on the, on the tech, on the mobile, I have a mobile only text that says, you are viewing this page from a mobile device. It is strongly encouraged you go through this quick queen onboarding steps on your computer. So I just say that because I want them to do it on their computer. It's just a much better user experience. Everything else is the same, but I, I want them to do it on the computer so um, again this is an image if you scroll down this is a menu and this is the desktop only content box text video button text image text image text image you get the idea okay so this is exactly how that's all set up on the back end so you're aware of all of that now and I'm showing you this so you can create this on your own like this is totally like you're welcome to pause the video at any time and then replicate exactly what I have if you so uh, choose or you can get this template for me in aroundplr.com as well um, that's gonna be available um, it's also gonna be available in aroundtemplates.com so aroundtemplates.com or aroundplr.com it's gonna be available in both websites okay and if you're not seeing it there it's because it's go it's still um, going to be live you just join the waitlist and you'll hear about it when it goes live now I want to show you the backend automations as well the way I have it set up is when somebody opts into the squeeze page I've got an automation rule for when the funnel step is subscribed it gets they add a tag and they get sent one email. Okay, I don't have any additional follow-up or anything like that. That's just one email. Now, I will note also that you'll notice that I actually have three pages here. The reason I have three pages is because I'm testing uh, different traffic sources as well to get people there. And therefore I have another squeeze page so I can see exactly what happens with that one squeeze page. And I've got a different email follow-up for that as well. I will leave that tutorial for it, uh, uh, any information for a different tutorial. If you're curious uh, about that uh, and my traffic sources and things along these lines, leave a comment with the word traffic, okay? So that's about it. That's how you set up a mini course. Again, this is going to be available and somebody can actually copy the link, share it, and you know, it's not password protected, but it's okay because I, you know, if people are gonna share my stuff, then, then that's fine. I mean, it's still my stuff. So, you know, any, any promotions is, you know, if somebody are gonna share my stuff, I mean, it's good promotion anyway. So that's the use case of using that. And it's really a, a way to set up a lead magnet. So that's about it. If you want to get a template of what I just showed you, go to aroundtemplates.com or go to aroundplr.com. It's going to be available both places. Uh, thanks all for watching. I really appreciate you. Somewhere around here, I'm going to leave a video for you. One video is going to be the step one of the onboarding checklist that you're seeing right now. Because I want you to see the video series as well that I have set up for this mini course. I think you're going to get value from seeing how that process goes. And also I will leave the playlist for that mini series as well. So you can go through the steps. It's, it's six videos, two minutes each. And if you're getting started with System.io, it's perfect for you. And even if you're not new to System.io and you wanna just see what I do, that's a good uh, little mini series to go through. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. Really appreciate you. Speak to you soon. Cheers.